some words about one of my favorite uh, genres inside the rock music and I'm speaking about the new wave let's say like that the new wave of Vitans and occult rock first of all I have to say that what uh, today uh, we call it as Vitans rock especially is uh, let's say a new wave of uh, bands of new bands that uh, they prefer to play in the same way as uh, the big names of rock in the 70s from the other side we have also occult rock occult rock also became uh, a, a little bit a little bit famous in the 70s by bands uh, as a coven from united states and uh, as a black widow also from united states if i'm not sure that these bands in these years uh, they played something like between blues rock with occult uh, uh, with uh, the whole subject of their music and uh, and their words it was about occultism satanism and uh, things like that black magic and etc etc but today we have many bands that they are trying to come back to this style of music with this style also of uh, expression so uh, today i will speak about some of my favorite bands inside this small genre uh, that it became uh, it became even more famous today than before before of all of that, I have uh, here I will speak only about one band that is not new. A band not exactly of the 70s, but of the 80s. And also, let's say that uh, I'm speaking about uh, the great rocker Rocky Erickson. Okay, Rocky Erickson, and especially with his band after uh, the 13th floor and elevators, I'm speaking about his band. Rocky Erickson and the Aliens. With this album, I think that he made two or three albums, uh, but this is the, if I'm not sure, the first album of him uh, by the name The Evil One. Okay. Uh, Rocky Erickson is not exactly occultist rocker. Not exactly. But occult rock of today many bands of occult rock of today they uh, for them he is a big influence he was a big influence can rocky erickson he died before some uh, some years rest in peace and we know that he had uh, he, many uh, psychological problems okay for example in this album we have uh, the song white faces that uh, the devil's blood they made a, a cover of this song and other songs uh, also of Rocky Erickson, Ghost, Ghost, they made also cover of, of other song of him and etc etc. A very very great album. And now let's speak about bands of today of Vidans and Occult Rock. So one of my favorite bands is the band Blood Ceremony from Canada and they made great albums uh, here I could also speak about the, the album The Ascient Ones but here I will bring their third album if I'm not sure this is the third album of them Lord of Misrule many people prefer to speak about Blood Ceremony as a, as a band that plays like Jethro Tool okay they have elements of Zithro tool but not only they have also doom metal elements they are not became doom metal okay uh, they have black sabbath elements a great 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 band now another american band of this style of occult rock is the band satan's satics today uh, they, there, is, there is not a they, uh, they 
unfortunately after five or four, four or five albums they, they, they split and the mastermind of the band he was for a period of time he was the uh, inside electric wizard and many people think that the, their music is very close to Electric Wizard. Yes, they play a style of doom, sludge, a stoner, a metal rock. Yes, something like that. And many people prefer their debut album, but here I will bring their second album of them, Die Screaming. Also with occult, uh, with all, all the words oh, and oh, and. The whole concept of their albums is occult rock. And even speaking about uh, uh, Satan Satyrs, I have to speak about also Electric Wizard from England. Okay, they are Doom, they are Stoner, they are Sluts, but also they are occult rock. And here I will bring for their favorite album of them, of, uh, in my opinion. And many people maybe they prefer their first albums and I understand this, but for me, their favorite album is their fifth album, We Live. Also, you can see about the cover uh, art of the album that this is, this is show, show Vitans of the rock of the 70s. Another band from Sweden, if I'm not sure they're from Sweden, their singer is uh, from Greek origin, and also uh, the guitarist of the band, uh, he was the mastermind of the Helicopters and the ex-drummer of uh, the Etumt, and I'm speaking about the band Lucifer. Lucifer, until now, they have three albums. Their first album is even more occult rock, but here I will prefer to bring their third and last album of 2020, Lucifer 3, yes, because here they became, they are inside, they are exactly between occult rock and vintage rock. Another also great band of occult rock with, with folk and doom elements. They are from the United States, and I'm speaking about Jax Thoth, if I'm preferring it co uh, correctly. Correctly, yes, of the singer, of their singer and front woman, Jax Thoth. She made until now. They made until now uh, two sec two studio albums and uh, three EPs, yes, something like that. Yes, I think uh, like that. In any case, I will bring here their second album, studio album, even though many people prefer their debut album, Blood Moon Rise, and together with that, their first EP, Totem. Totem. And also remember that this band in these years, they called themselves by the name Totem. Also, they made a split with uh, a with uh, a Pangan Altar, yes, the band, one of the first doom metal bands from the new wave of British heavy metal uh, uh, genre. Something also special about Jack's Thoth and Totem in this, in this EP is that in the second, if I'm not sure, the second album of this, uh, the second song of this EP has some common things with one of the songs of the debut album of the great epic doom metalers from Canada, Smulder. Okay, I, fa I, fa I found something that is very very common between the songs. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but if someone wants to try to find it, okay, it's interesting. Now, another also band from Sweden, but they are not occult, they are only Vidant's rock of the 70s. And I'm speaking about the band Blues Piles. Yes, they made until now two studio albums. I think that they work uh, about a third album. Okay, Blues Piles and their first debut album. Also a very great uh, album. 
of vintage rock of the 70s of the hippie rock. Now, another band, one of the first bands that they started to play occult rock in uh, nowadays, in our days, and speak about the band Witchcraft. And here also I could speak about their debut album, that they were even more occult rock. In, and uh, many people spoke about these bands. For example, we have Fernis from Dark Throne, he, he, he spoke about Ghost, he spoke about also uh, about other bands of occult rock. We have Phil Anselmo, also he spoke a, little, a lot about Ghost and about, and about Witchcraft. Metallica, many, many... Uh, famous metalers, they are speaking about these occult rock bands. And also, let's remember, many bands of this kind, they started from Rise Above. Uh, from uh, uh, Rise Above of, of Lee Dorian, yes, the singer and the mastermind of Cathedral, and before he was in Napalm, Napalm Death. And he's also one of the uh, special elements of uh, this renewal of occult rock of today. So, uh, about Witchcraft, uh, we will bring here one of their uh, latest albums, the their fourth album, if I'm not sure, but it's a little bit more controversial between uh, their fans, and I'm speaking about the album Legend. Here I bring it because it's a little bit more close to hard rock of the 70s, less occult, more vitans from one hand, and uh, something also, also they made another album inside 2020 by the name Black Metal, okay, many people, not, they are not playing Black Metal at all, at all, at all, no. and many people they didn't like this album of, of, of this year, of 2020, in any case, this is a great, great album. Also, here I could speak about another other bands of, from Sweden that they're playing very close to occult, to, uh, ba with uh, occultism, uh, like bands as In Solitude, they split also after their third album, uh, like Tribulation, like Black Trip, the Black Trip they play. With only two albums until now, and they play something between uh, uh, Iron Maiden influences of the early years of Paul Diano with Thin Lizzy influences and occultism. And there are some members of Enforcer inside a Black Trip. Uh, but all this, uh, or Portrait also from Sweden, but these bands, as, uh, as for example, Portrait, uh, uh, Tribulation, In Solitude. These bands, they are even more uh, influenced by merciful fate, and they are inside more inside metal, less inside occult rock. As a rock, okay, for this reason, I'm not speaking about these bands. Now, another also Vitans rock band that uh, they are very, very, very close to Black Sabbath in in every way, but with uh, with uh, with uh, good taste is the band from the United States, if not sure, by the name Orchid. Orchid also they made two albums until now, and I will bring here their first, second, second album of them, The Mouths of Madness. Great, great, great album. And, okay, the most famous, let's say it, the most famous band of Today's occult rock continues to be Ghost. Ghost from Sweden. And their first album, their debut album, opened the doors for this genre. And of course, here I will bring their debut album, Opus Eponymous of Ghost. But uh, together with uh, Ghost, we have to speak um, about another band that for me is the most favorite new occult rock band and unfortunately also they split and they speak about the devil's blood from Holland 
yes about Selim rest in peace and of course I'm, I don't agree totally with his satanist ideas unfortunately uh, these ideas together with his psychological problems brought his death his suicide unfortunately rest in peace uh, in any case they made three studio albums and one EP um, and for me this is the greatest occult the new occult, occult rock band of our years also they became famous together with ghost in these years and here we'll bring uh, there's two uh, first albums of them also i could speak about their ep come rip but let's speak about their debut album okay the time of of time and evermore great 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 album with the, also the great song christ or cocaine that this is one of the most famous songs of our years inside the rock music in my opinion in my humble opinion great album great 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 album also with a very uh, vitans uh, rock of the 70s uh, cover art of this album but together with this i have to speak about also their second album the thousandfold epicenter also a great great album of occultism and occult rock so this is about vitans of the new wave of vitans and occult rock from israel and from jerusalem stay metal and stay heavy <laughs>